Welcome to VW 11.1. In this chapter, we're going to study what's called conic sections. Meaning, if you look at all this diagram on your paper, these are all cones, and we're going to cut them in various ways. So imagine you cut it straight across right here. That is a circle, which we've studied already. If you cut it at a slight angle here, that's what's called an ellipse. If you cut it just right here, this is a parabola. And if you cut it along both of the cones, look at this, there's two parabolas. This is called a hyperbola. So we're gonna start our study right here. And we're going to discuss what actually is a parabola. So here's the pure definition for a parabola. The set of all points equidistant from a fixed point called a focus and a line called a directrix. So if I were to sketch this for you, there is basically like some line happening here. That's our directrix up at DTX. We have some focus right here. And then the parabola is going to be something like this. And this line represents all the points that are equidistant from this point and this line. Meaning if I were to pick any point, let's say I pick this point, this distance D would equal this distance D. Same thing. And same thing here, this distance, let's call that like d2 would equal this distance d2 and let's say you pick this point over here this distance d3 would be the same as that distance d3 so that's how we define a parabola i'm going to show you a quick video that kind of models this so you can see as that red dot is moving that the distance from the red dot to the focus or the point inside the parabola and this directrix on the left no matter where you go, the distance remains the same. So I'll play it back one more time. So you can notice how, as it's moving, that's why you have that circle, so you can verify that the distance is the same no matter where you go. That's how we're going to define a parabola. Now, for the actual work, there are a couple equations we need. The equations we'll be using today are derived from this formula or not formula, but the definition I just showed you, y squared equals 4px and x squared is equal to 4py. And if anyone can prove where these come from, I'll give you guys extra credit. So I could derive these for you, but I'd rather someone in the class figure out where these came from. And you're probably wondering, like, what is this p? Why is it y squared? Why is it x squared? So I'm going to go back to my generic picture here. Let's get rid of these now that we understand the concept. So a couple of things are happening here. If it's y squared, that means the parabola is being reflected over the x axis, which means it'll look something like this. And that's going to be a positive parabola. If it were negative, it would look something like this. That's a negative y squared parabola. If it's x squared, we've already worked with those in our earlier unit. That's what you'd expect a parabola going up. And of course, it's going down if it's negative. That's pretty standard. Now, p, what is that? p is actually right here. It's the distance from the focus to the vertex. And the vertex is this right here. I'll do that in blue. The vertex we know from the parabola is basically the min or max point. So think of it like the middle of the parabola. And P is how far it is from the focus or to the directrix. So I'll put a note here. P, the distance from vertex 
to focus or vertex to directrix. So that's D I R E C T R I X. Okay, and there's one more thing we're going to add. There are two points of interest on any parabola we like using. And that's going to be the points right above and below any focus. Right there and right there. We call those LR points. And LR is Latin for lattice rectum. It's kind of a weird name, but it's from Latin. So again, that's called an LR point or lattice rectum. That's this line right here. And these are the end points of the lattice rectum, but we'll just call them LR points to make it easier. And what's really interesting is the length of this line is actually 2P. And I'll do that in red so it'll be easier to see. Here to here, that's 2P. Here, that's 2P. And again, you'll derive that using algebra. And if you're wondering why we can add, we can talk about that in class if you're curious where I got that. But we are going to use these shortcuts and these formulas for everything today. Okay, so let's try to do this. Find an equation of the parabola with the vertex at 0, 0, focus at zero, 3, 0, graph the equation. So for all of these problems, you're going to want to do a quick sketch. Sketch, sketch. The vertex is at 0, 0, so put V here. Focus at 3, 0. 1, 2, 3 focus. And we are going to make an info box. In this chapter, we're going to really need these. So make sure you get in the habit of this. An info box is fill in what you know. The vertex is 0, 0. The focus is 3, 0. So already, because the focus is here, I know that the parabola should be like that. Because the focus is always going to be inside of the parabola, like this. So notice how this one, the focus is here, the parabola is going to open towards your focus. Now, you know a couple things. This is P, and by looking I can see that P is 3. Which means I can already figure out the equation. Because if it's like this, the shape, look over here. This must be a positive y squared parabola. So you're going to write y squared equals 4px. y squared is equal to, I know p is 3, so y squared must be 12x. And that's your equation. Seems almost too easy, but that's it. What else do we need? It says graph the equation. So to graph, we're going to need LR points, and we're going to need our directrix. The directrix is thus the same distance, that's 3. So that's going to be right here. There's our directrix. DTX, and that would be x equals negative 3. And then the LR points, so this is how you do it. We're just going to sketch the parabola like that. And if this distance is 3, I know using our algebraic shortcut, that this is 2p. So this must be 6, which means the points above and below it, that's 3, 6, and 3, negative 6. So we'll just write 3 plus or minus 6. But let's say you had no idea how to do that. You can still just derive it, because I know this focus point is 3, 0. If I have this equation right here, just plug in x equals 3. 12 times 3, y squared is equal to 36. Square root, the absolute value of y is 6. So y must be plus or minus 6. And notice how we get the exact same thing there. Okay, so there's our first problem. No problem. Next equation. Find the equation with the, with pro, or find the equation of the parabola with focus at 0, 4. Directrix at y equals negative 4. Let's sketch. 
So 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our focus. We'll label that. The directrix is y equals negative 4, so we'll label that. Which means our vertex must be in the middle. So there's our vertex. So we'll make our info box. The vertex is clearly 0, 0, which is nice. And you'll get those for the whole homework. The focus is 0, 4. The LR we don't know yet. And the directrix, that's y equals negative 4. That was told to us. And notice where the focus is. So the parabola must open towards the focus. So we'll just sketch our parabola like that. And now let's figure it out. Looking at our picture, I can see that the distance from the vertex to directrix, or vertex to focus, this distance is 4. So I know p is 4. And I know that this is an x squared and positive parabola. So you can look right here. So we're going to write x squared equals 4py. p is 4. So x squared should equal 16y. And look, there's your equation. Done. Now the LR, if p is 4, that means go 2p out in each direction. So that's 8 and 8. So this must be 8, 4, and negative 8, comma, 4. So for LR points, let's put plus or minus 8, comma, 4. And that's it. We found the equation. We have the graph. We are done. Now we have a couple more examples to go through. Let's do a quick recap of what we've done so far. So we'll put a box here. We have two equations. y squared is equal to 4px. And we'll put a plus or minus to indicate it could be either one. And then 4py. If it's positive, our y squared parabola opens to the right. If it's negative, it opens to the left. And if it's x squared positive, opens up. x squared negative opens down. And of course, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, or the vertex to the directrix. OK, so here's the final part of the video. We're going to analyze these equations. So I give you that y squared equals 8x. So just compare it to the comparable formula, which means p must be 2. What I like to do is draw a mental picture here. So I can see it's y squared positive right here. So I'm just going to do a quick sketch. It should look something like that. And then on the side, let's make our info box. And let's do it. Info. Our vertex for all of these today will be 0, 0. We'll move it later, but for now it'll be 0, 0. The focus, we need LR, we need directrix. Okay, let's do it. So we have vertex 0, 0 right there. If P is 2, an opening left, or opening to the right, sorry, that means I'm going to move to the right two units. So go 1, 2, there's your focus. So it's 2, 0, which means our directrix is 2 to the left, right here. There's our directrix. That would be x equals negative 2. And the LR points will go up 4 and down 4. And I'll just get your parabola like so. And the LR points, I can see that would be 2 plus or minus 4. And there it is. We've graphed a parabola. So notice how much quicker that is than normal graphing. That's what this chapter will be like. Now let's go to our next one. x squared is equal to negative 12y. So I'll compare it to my regular formula. 
this would mean p is 3. Our mental picture is x squared negative, so that's down. You don't have to do that, but I find that it does help me think about what the graph should be before I do it. Let's make our info box. The vertex is 0, 0. Focus, LR, directrix. And if P is 3, opening down, I'm going to go down 3. 1, 2, 3. There's my focus. And that would mean my directrix is right here. So dtx, that would be y equals 3. And our LR points, if this is 3, we're going to go out 6. And don't forget to label those. And that would be plus or minus 6, comma, negative 3. And we're done.